A 65-year-old woman reports to her primary care physician with a complaint of right knee pain that has been progressively worsening for the past two years. An X-ray of the knee shows joint space narrowing, osteophytes, and sclerotic changes. These X-ray findings are characteristic of which of the following? The correct answer is B. Degenerative joint disease. Joint space narrowing, osteophytes, and sclerosis are characteristic of degenerative joint disease. Degenerative joint disease, or joint degeneration, is another name for osteoarthritis. It is known as wear and tear arthritis because it develops as joints wear down, allowing bones to rub against each other. People with degenerative joint disease often have joint stiffness, pain, and swollen joints. Osteophytes are unlikely in rheumatoid arthritis. Paget's disease would show a diffuse demineralization of the bone that would probably result in a pathological fracture. Lab results from a 30-year-old male show low urinary cortisol, low serum cortisol, and no electrolyte abnormalities. Serum ACTH levels are also low. The man presented to his physician three days earlier with fatigue and depression. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? The correct answer is D, secondary adrenal insufficiency. Low urinary and serum cortisol should immediately make you think of adrenal insufficiency. To discriminate between primary and secondary, it is important to evaluate blood ACTH levels. While ACTH levels are high in the primary type, indicating a failure of the adrenal glands to produce cortisol when stimulated by ACTH, the secondary type manifests with low ACTH levels indicating failure of the pituitary gland to produce enough ACTH.